Hi guys, Matt Thomas here at Cedar Rock Studio Guitar Gallery in Indiana, and today we've got a Goliath killer on my lap. This is an Ostoff Jumbo Baritone. I mean, look, look at that thing. It's she's got some hips, which I what I love is that this upper bout is kind of reduced in relation to how big and bulbous this lower bout is um it's it's actually quite a comfortable playing guitar so this features a master grade italian spruce top which has a really interesting ring to it it's it's got a beautiful tap tone but look at this massive set of curly Brazilian rosewood. I mean, that is just some of the coolest looking stuff. And for this to be a 2017 and to have that kind of curl, straight grain and squiggle throughout this lower bout, I, I'm amazed. I, I can't believe it. This is astounding how perfect this set of Brazilian is. Now, to top it off, it's bound all the way around with snakewood binding. And then when you get to the face here, it's got this wood rope, is what he calls this kind of purfling scheme around. Um, and then he calls this his wood weave rosette, which 
I'm not entirely certain what some of these pieces are, but it looks like some wind gain for the darker pieces. And my best guess is gonna be Buckeye Burl for the other pieces of the weave. Um, either way, it is so cool looking in person. Now it's got a Brazilian rosewood bridge with fossilized mammoth pins and saddle and nut. And uh, we'll get into that in a second. So it's got a Brazilian rosewood fretboard that it's been bound with snake wood with these snowflake type inlays and then a cat eye here at the 12th and then just some other cat eyes for the additional ones. They're all mother of pearl with mother of pearl side dots as well. Now it's a baritone, but it's technically a shorter scale baritone. It's 27.3, I'm sorry, 27 and three fourths. So that's 27.75 which makes it a lot more comfortable to play. You don't feel like you have to reach towards your next door neighbor to get to the first fret, uh, or at least for me. So some of the bigger people might ha not have that experience, but the 28.3 or 28 and a half feels a little too cumbersome for me. Uh, this is right up my alley. The other thing is, the nut width isn't super wide. It's actually 1.76. So it's very comfortable to play as a baritone. Um, now it's got a gorgeous, highly figured Brazilian rosewood head cap here with the Ossoff logo in maple. And then as you turn it over, it's also got a Brazilian rosewood back cap that's kind of right into this um, v, or I'm sorry, right into this uh, diamond back volute here. Um, and a multi-piece neck. So it's a three-piece neck out of mahogany, rosewood, and mahogany. One last thing to top off with all this lovely Brazilian are these Brazilian buttons on this, on these Delta Series Gotos, which are the 20, 21 to 1 ratio, which is kind of nice for these really lowered tunings and scales. But good lord, this thing. It's one of the easiest playing baritones I've ever experienced. And it's an absolute joy to play. So if you've got any other further questions about this very special Ostoff baritone, message Alan at cedarrockstudio.com. And thanks for listening.